Dear friends, this is our ninth lecture of electric charges and electric field. And today we are going to discuss the very important, the next important topic, electric dipole in an uniform electric field. Electric dipole in an uniform electric field. Okay. So before that, I am your Asha Dino. This is our favorite channel, Physics Gallery. Always watch it. So electric dipole in an uniform electric field. So what was uniform electric field? We have discussed it later. That is, that is earlier, what is uniform electric field? A region where each and every point will have the same magnitude and direction for electric field. What is uniform electric field? It is the region where each and every point will have the same magnitude and direction for electric field. A region where each and every point will have the same magnitude and direction. Okay. And where this uniform electric field is obtained? That was also studied. When we study the properties of electric lines of force, uniform electric field is always obtained in between two parallel equally two parallel equally and oppositely charged plates. Uniform electric field is always obtained in between two parallel equally and oppositely charged plates. Okay. That is, this is the region of uniform electric field now. And the field lines are always from here parallel field lines are obtained and the field lines are always obtained from positive to negative. That is, this is the direction of electric field here. Okay. And in this electric field, today we are going to place an electric dipole. In this uniform electric field, we are going to place an electric dipole. Okay. So, there is an electric dipole AB. There is an electric dipole AB. Suppose this is our AB dipole. Having charges plus Q and minus Q. Length, total length always taken as 2L. And moment P. What is the moment? P, whose direction is from negative to positive. And such an electric dipole is placed in our uniform electric field, making an angle theta to it. The field is like this, making an angle theta to it. That is plus Q here, minus Q here. This is our point A. This is our point B. The total length is 2L. What is the total length? The total length is 2L. And what is the moment? Moment is P. Okay. So we have placed our electric dipole AB of charge Q, length 2L, moment P in a uniform electric field making an angle theta to it. That is the direction of dipole moment is always from negative to positive. Negative to positive like this. This is the direction. Field is from top to bottom like this. So this is angle theta. If this is theta, this is also theta. Okay, is it clear? So we have now placed an electric dipole in an uniform electric field. What happens? This is today's topic. What happens when an electric dipole is placed in an uniform electric field? Okay, so what happens? Look here. This is a point charge plus Q which is near to this negative plate. What happens when a point charge is placed near a negative plate? The negative plate attracts it. Okay. So, here there is a force of attraction in downward direction. In which direction? In downward direction. There is a force of attraction. Similarly, this is another point charge minus Q, which is also placed near our positive plate. So what happens? There is again a force of attraction. This positive plate attracts the point charge minus Q towards it. Okay. With which force? This is the region of electric field. In the last class we have studied electric field intensity E is equal to F by Q. Okay. So when a charge Q is placed in an electric field, it exerts a force. So, when a charge Q is placed in the electric field, it exerts a force whose value is F is equal to EQ. Whose value is F is equal to EQ. Okay. So, this force.
this is eq this is eq if this is eq this force is also eq because the field is saying uniform electric field so the magnitude of electric field here and here are saying the same charge the dipole is placed equal and opposite charges are placed so the same magnitude of force eq acts here also clear it that is when the dipole was placed in uniform electric field making an angle theta to it what happens plus q is attracted towards the negative plate according to our figure plus q is attracted to the, towards the negative plate and minus q is attracted towards the positive plate okay equal and opposite force the both forces are equal but they are in opposite direction that is when the electric dipole is placed in uniform electric field equal and opposite force acts on it equal and opposite force acts on it so what happens if the forces are equal and opposite the net force therefore the net force cancels out that is f net acting on the dipole becomes zero f net acting on the dipole becomes zero clear but since the equal and opposite forces are acting since the equal and opposite forces are acting on two different parts here this is our electric dipole okay consider this to be a scale this is our electric dipole a 5 newton force acts downward another 5 newton force acts upward the net force is zero but what happens to our scale it begins to rotate it begins to turn by an angle is it clear okay so a 5 newton force acts here a 5 newton force acts upward the net force becomes zero but when equal and opposite force acts on two points of the same body it creates a plus one topic it creates a couple what was that it creates a couple if that is equal and opposite forces acting on two different parts two different parts of the same dipole of the same dipole results in a couple that force is called as couple which produces producing a turning effect called producing a turning effect called torque that is even though the net force becomes zero there is a torque acting on the electric dipole when it is placed in uniform electric field is it clear when the electric dipole is placed in uniform electric field two forces acts on the two charges which are equal and opposite so the net force becomes zero but since the equal and opposite forces are acting on two different parts of the same dipole it results in a turning effect it results in a couple producing a turning effect called as the torque that is a torque acts on it a torque acts on it therefore we are going to find the torque produced so torque was represented by the letter tau okay so what was the equation for torque tau is equal to force into perpendicular distance force into perpendicular distance okay torque equation force into perpendicular distance that is here the force in both charges plus q and minus q are eq so we can write tau is equal to eq into we have to take the perpendicular distance to the force that is this force is along negative y axis and this force is around positive y axis so we have to take the distance of dipole perpendicular to y axis so for that we have to complete the triangle take this point as c now there is a triangle abc and eq 
EQ negative y axis. AC is perpendicular to EQ. Similarly, EQ positive y axis. AC is perpendicular to positive y axis. Therefore, the perpendicular distance is AC. Is it clear? Now, the perpendicular distance for the force is AC. And how to take the AC? It is not given to us. It is not given. So, how to take? If this angle is theta, this is also theta. Considering the triangle A, B, C, we will take sin theta. Sin theta is equal to opposite side AC by hypotenuse AB. And what is this AB? This is our length of the dipole 12. So AC is equal to 12 into sin theta. Is it clear? Taking the right angle triangle ABC, taking sin theta, opposite side AC by hypotenuse AB. AB is the length of the dipole 12. Therefore, AC is equal to 12 sin theta. Substituting, we will get tau equal to EQ into 12 sin theta. Is it clear? And what is Q into 12? What is Q into 12? It is the moment P. What is P? What is P? P is equal to charge into distance. So in the next line we will write tau is equal to Q into 12. P. Then this is E. P is sin theta. Okay. So what is the equation for torque? Torque tau is equal to P E sin theta. Very, very important. So, what is the torque acting on an electric dipole when it is placed in an uniform electric field? Tau is equal to P E sin theta. And in vector form, tau is equal to vector tau is equal to P is a vector, E is a vector, sin theta between the sine of angle between them. A B sin theta represents A cross B. Similarly, here it is P cross C. And this P cross E is obtained by the practical experiments. Okay. Why it is not E cross P? Because the direction is obtained when we rotate right hand thumb rule. When we rotate our fingers of the right hand from the direction of P to E. That is here the direction is from negative to positive. P is like this. This is the direction of P. And E is downward. So we have to rotate. We have to rotate our right hand fingers. Fingers of the right hand. From P to E. Then the direction of the thumb will give. This is the outward direction. This is the direction of the torque. Okay. So what is the magnitude of torque to? P E sin theta. And in vector form it is always represented as vector P cross vector E. Vector P cross vector E. Is it clear? Okay. So, what happens when an electric dipole is placed in uniform electric field? When an electric dipole is placed in uniform electric field, equal and opposite force acts on it. The net force cancels out. Net force becomes zero. But since equal and opposite force acting on two different parts of the same dipole, it results in a couple producing a turning effect called as the torque. And the torque obtained is always equal to force into perpendicular distance. Here the force acting on the two charges is EQ and the perpendicular distance to the force is now becomes AC on, on taking the triangle ABC. From the sine theta of triangle ABC, we will get AC is equal to 2 S sine theta. Q into 2 L is P, therefore torque tau becomes P E sine theta and in vector form it is equal to vector P cross vector E. Is it clear? So this is the electric dipole in a uniform electric field. Pause it. Take the knots. Okay. So hoping you understand this topic. So, once more. This is our electric field, uniform electric field, parallel planes, equally and oppositely charged and the field is acting vertically downward. And we had taken an electric dipole plus Q. This is the position AB, A and this is the position B minus Q. Okay. Due to the torque obtained, 
it begins to rotate. Due to the torque obtained, it begins to rotate. Suppose, initially it was at an angle theta 1. Hmm? And due to the force, here EQ force acts downward, here EQ force acts upward, so it rotates. So it rotates. And now the angle becomes, so it rotates in this direction. So now the angle becomes theta 2. Okay. It rotates from theta 1 to theta 2. Is it clear? It rotates from theta 1 to theta 2. And in order to rotate this pen, in order to rotate this pen, my fingers have to do some work. Okay. In order to rotate this pen like this, I have to do some work. Similarly, in order to rotate the electric dipole from theta 1 to theta 2, the field has to do some work. The field has to do some work. That is, now the plus Q is at this position and minus Q is at this position. Okay. Minus Q. So, in order to rotate the dipole from theta 1 to theta 2, this electric field has to do some work. And we are going to find the work done to rotate the dipole. The work done to rotate the dipole. How to take the work done? In earlier classes, we have studied work done is equal to F dot S. Is it clear? If the force is variable, we have to take integral f dot ds. But this work done is for translational motion. But our body is now in rotational motion. So we have to consider rotational work. For rotational work, force becomes a torque. Displacement becomes angular displacement. This is the topic uh, in our rotational dynamics of our plus one topic. Okay. So, if the work is run, done to rotate a body, the equation for work becomes tau dot theta, where tau is the torque and theta is the angle rotator. Okay? And if the torque is, if the torque is variable, the equation for work done becomes integral tau dot d theta. Is it clear? Work done for translation motion, straight line motion, F dot S. If the force is variable, work has to be taken by integrating force. So, integral F dot DS. If the work done is to rotate a body, work done becomes tau dot theta. And if the torque taken is a variable one, torque equation is B E sin theta. As theta changes, torque changes. So, torque is variable. So, we have to integrate the torque with respect to d theta to get the work done. So, work done to rotate the dipole. Is it clear? We have to take torque. Sorry, we have to take the work done to rotate. Rotational work. Integral to dot d theta. Hmm? What is the equation for tau? We have studied now, it is equal to P E sin theta D theta. Okay. P constant, E constant, integrating sin theta D theta. From where? From the angle theta 1. To where? To the angle theta 2. P E integral sin theta d theta from theta 1 to theta 2. What is integral sin theta? Have you studied in your maths? Yes, it is minus cos theta. What is integral sin theta? You will study, you may study it or you will study in your maths. It is minus cos theta. Then limits theta 1 to theta 2. What is integral sin theta? Minus cos theta. How to apply the limits? Rotational work becomes now upper limit minus lower limit. Upper limit minus lower limit. Is it clear? Upper limit minus cos theta. Lower limit minus cos theta. You have to minus it. 
minus of minus becomes plus. So the work done. The equation for work done becomes PE cos theta 1 minus cos theta 2. Very important. So what is the work done? To rotate the dipole from theta 1 to theta 2, it is equal to PE cos theta 1 minus cos theta 2. Is it clear? Take the knots. And continuing, this work is stored as energy. This work is stored as the energy. So, what is the energy stored? Always the energy is stored as potential energy. So, the potential energy stored during this process is equal to, also equal to, this is potential energy and this is moment electric field. Okay, don't cancel it. Okay. And if theta 1 is 90 and theta 2 is 0, we will write the potential energy as cos 90 0 minus cos 0. So the equation becomes PE cos theta, the general value for potential energy. Okay. Don't cancel the PE on the both sides. This is potential energy, this is moment and this is electric field. Is it clear? Okay. So we have completed the torque acting, the work done, the potential energy zero. Potential energy stored in the soil. Potential energy stored, not zero. Potential energy stored. Okay. So this happens when an electric dipole is placed in uniform electric field. So when an electric dipole is placed in uniform electric field, torque occurs. Due to torque, it begins to rotate. In order to rotate, the field has to do some work. The work done is so much. As the field to do some work, its energy is lost as or stored as potential energy. That potential energy may be taken as either the same equation or as minus P e cos theta if the command is 90. And till when it rotates, till when it rotates, it rotates till the torque acting on it becomes zero. It rotates till the torque acting on it becomes zero. That is now, there is a torque. Tau is equal to PE sin theta. For it, some work has to be done. PE cos theta 1 minus cos theta 2. And it rotates, it rotates till torque becomes zero. The electric dipole rotates till the torque becomes zero. That is PE sin theta becomes zero. P becomes never zero. Electric field intensity also never becomes zero. Then the only option is sine theta has to be zero. Sine theta is zero when theta is equal to zero or 180 degree. When theta is equal to zero or 180 degree. That is the dipole will rotate till theta becomes the theta between P and E becomes zero or 180 degree. Both of them are equilibrium conditions. This is the equilibrium condition. But if theta is 0, that is called as the stable equilibrium. And theta is 180, it is said to be the unstable equilibrium. If theta is 0, it is said to be stable equilibrium. And if theta is 180, it is said to be unstable equilibrium. Clear it? Is it? Okay. Was it? Copy it. So, what we have studied today, what happens when an electric dipole is placed in uniform electric field? When an electric dipole is placed in uniform electric field, equal and opposite force acts on it, the net force becomes zero. But since the equal and opposite force acts on two different parts of the same dipole, torque occurs. A couple creates producing a torque. And the torque to is equal to force into perpendicular distance. We have derived it as PE sin theta. When the torque is obtained, when the torque is obtained, it rotates. But in order to rotate, some work has to be done. What is the work done by the field to rotate, rotate the electric dipole? PE cos theta 1 minus cos theta 2. This work done is stored as the potential energy. So what is the potential energy 
stored the same equation p e cos theta 1 minus cos theta 2. If theta 1 is 90 and theta 2 is theta, then the potential energy stored becomes minus p e cos theta. Okay. And the electric dipole will rotate till the electric dipole will rotate till the torque acting on it becomes zero. For making torque zero, P E sin theta becomes zero. P and E will never be zero. So sin theta becomes zero. In order to make sin theta zero, theta may be zero or 180. Both of them are equilibrium conditions. But if theta is zero, such an equilibrium is called as stable equilibrium. And if theta is 180, such an equilibrium is called as unstable equilibrium. Okay. <clears throat> this is the whole topic today we have to discuss. Is it clear? One more special note. If the body was, if the electric dipole was placed on non-uniform electric field. Special case, non-uniform electric field. What happens? All of this happens with a net force. Here, this EQ, non-uniform EQ is not equal to this EQ. So, both force and torque are present. In uniform, no force, only torque. Here, both force and torque are present. Is it clear? You have to take the copy, study it well, write it well. Okay, see you till the next video. You have to study all of this. So, winding up this, this lecture. And I am your Ashwabhinu. This is our favorite channel, Physics Gallery. Okay, bye.